Hey there, this is about the quick sort, which is a sorting algorithm. After watching this, you will understand much better how quick sort works, and it will help you to understand better the Java implementation that is shared in my blog, Hello Code Club. The link is in the description. So I will start with a quick overview of how quick sort works. So first, you need to pick a pivot element which is any random item of the array and then you will make a partition which means that you will put any element that is less than the pivot on the left of the pivot and then any element that is greater than the pivot it will go on the right so then you will have a partition and the next thing is to split the array by the pivot and then do exactly the same thing for each part and you keep going doing this until the array is sorted. Cool, so now we are going to see an example of how this will work. So let's get started. We have an array. Um, so first we will pick a pivot. In this case, we are going to pick six. And then we will have two indices, the I index and the J index. The J index is going to go through each element of the array and then the i index is going to keep track of where the pivot should go so by the end the i position will have all the elements that are less than the pivot on the left okay so let's get started we are in three. Th three is less than the pivot, which is six. So that means that we will move i and j forward. Since I need to leave all the elements that are less than six on the left, it makes sense that we move it forward. So now we are in two. Two is less than six. So it's the same thing. We will move the two in the, si in the six. So we are now in 4 and it's exactly the same thing, 4 is less than 6, so that means that we move the 2 in the indices forward. And we got to 6, so that means that we will just move J forward. And we are in 5, 5 is less than 6, so that means that we will swap five and six and now we will move i forward and in this way all the elements that are behind i are less than the pivot which is six right so now we just move j forward and since we got one one is less than six so we will swap one and six and now all the elements that are on the left are less than six so we got the partition and now we are gonna split this array by the pivot so we are left with the array that goes from three to one so that's the array and now we are going to do exactly the same thing for this section of the array. So first we are going to pick a pivot. And the pivot in this case is going to be 3. It could have been any other item in the array. And now we will place the two indices i and j at the beginning of the array and we will start doing exactly the same thing so we are in the pivot so we will move j forward and now we are in two since two is less than three that means that we need to swap the two items two and three And now we will move I forward since 
since I is keeping track of all the elements that are less than the pivot now we are in three so that means that we are just gonna move the J index and we are in four four is greater than three so we move J forward we are in five five is greater than three so again moving forward and the, now we are in one one is less than three the pivot so that means that we are going to swap one and three so now we will move the i index and then we have all the elements that are less than the pivot which are two and one are behind the y index sorry the i index and last we place the pivot where i is and now we have the partition with three being the pivot in the middle and then anything that is less than the pivot on the left and anything that is greater on the right so now we have the pivot and again we are going to split the array by the pivot and we are left with two parts one and two and then five and four and we are going to do exactly the same thing for each part so first we start with the part on the on the left so we will do exactly the same thing first we will pick a random pivot which is going to be two and then we will place the indexes at the beginning of the array i and the j index and now since we are in the pivot we will just move the j index forward and then now we are in one since one is less than the pivot that means that we have to swap them so we will swap one and two and just with that we sorted this part of the array then we move the pivot but the algorithm wouldn't do anything else because this part of the array is already sorted and now we will move to the other part the only bit that is not sorted which is five and four and we will do exactly the same thing first we will pick a pivot in this case five it could be four um, then we will place the two indexes at the beginning of the array and then since we are in the pivot we will move j 4 is less than 5 which is the pivot so it means that we have to swap them and that's all we sorted this part of the array and with this the array is sorted so that is how quicksort works first you will pick a pivot then you will make the partition rearranging the elements in the array and then you will split the array by the pivot and keep sorting the array this way so i hope this was useful if you want to say how to implement this in java go to the description and i will leave a link there to my blog where i explain in detail how this works i hope it was helpful and thank you so much for watching Bye-bye.